last time last sunday we stopped at how to set up the densimeter because uh, densimeter is the thing is the most important equipment we use to as a carrots as a gold say how much the carrot is that compound then uh, last day we talk several subjects at the very beginning we understood what are the boundaries of pawning or gold loan uh, we did a small survey small sort analysis by that we put into two categories one is plus factors the other one is the negative factors then we talk few thing uh, mostly we talk about the how to improve the customer service quality it's a very important one for the this subject as a credit tool we have to keep our customers with us because they have so many places to go but we have the customers only therefore we have to improve our customer service quality we discussed in length thereafter we talked about the law there are three major laws governing the pawning of gold on product one is on bogus ordinance the other one local government code or provincial council statutes last one is central bank directions other than to mortgage act uh, for banks only central bank directions is attached for others they should aware how much how to uh, operate the business uh, what is the law governing for them uh, thereafter we talk how to identify gold first thing we, sh we should have as gold loan officers or pawning officers we have to improve ourselves how to identify gold for that purpose we use, we use our five senses we talk lengthily about how to identify gold when you take a article from a customer to have an advance first thing we have to do is to identify whether the article is made of gold or otherwise then we can use our five senses by that major three senses is very important eye ear and the touch by that way we can segregate whether it is a fake article or not genuine one uh, then uh, we talk about other testing methods mostly in sri lanka even other countries the most effective and most suitable thing is to test gold is the xrf machine but for us as pawning officers it's difficult to use it uh, for several reasons we talked about that other um, other main test systems are uh, 10x lens we can multiply it by 10 times then we can see through the lens is it made with pure gold or is a uh, electroplated article other than that we talk about the densimeter the most important equipment now we are using uh, we stop at that place now again we remind a little thing about the densimeter what does the densimeter measure it measure the density not the carat but we get carat as a result of the density i discuss how does it happen if the 100% level of purity of gold the density of gold is 19.3 the densimeter reads the density of that article is 19.3 it shows us as 24 accordingly if the density reduces the carat rate also reduces likewise we can assume the carat rate it is not the actual rate actual purity there are several reasons for it we should understand the thing the volume is the main factor whether the result is correct or not if the densimeter could measure the volume of the object then it can give accurate purity but the thing is it is difficult for the densimeter to measure the measure the volume always it depend on the article Uh, you know what is volume volume is the area where it covers in the space uh, volume is measured in uh, cubic centimeters 
how many cent, how many cubic centimeters in the article then we measure the weight we measure the volume we divide measure uh, divide the mass or weight by the volume then we get density density differs according to the volume we get in that sense it is the most important thing to understand whether the density meter could measure the volume if it is so then uh, characterize given and accept that otherwise if the density meter is not capable of measuring the accurate volume then the characterize given uh, will be it will differ for several reasons uh, the volume may be different i'll show you one thing this is a box chain we call it box chain because it's, it's shape there are uh, about 1000 links in the chain in each link there are four small cavities uh because we say box chain shape is box type if you enlarge this you can see uh, this is a special uh, chain which i get uh, for uh, uh, sample in the program it shows here one mark it's called hole mark it is done by the James Angel Authority in Sri Lanka. It is the SA office to certify gold purity. They use these symbols. This is called pun kalasa. The other one is brass lamp. It's called pahana. The other figure. This is the figure of percentage, not the percentage really. P P T. How many parts out of thousand? It is nine or six mean twenty-two carat. Likewise, in the previous chain, it has been certified by the Jensen Jewel Authority by this, by printing this mark. This this chain, this particular chain, is twenty-two carat. But if you measure this chain, purity of this chain by the density meter, it gives several results. i think i told you at the very beginning i measure its carotage it was about 13 o plus like that several figures given according to the way of doing this testing the reason was it was difficult for the density meter to measure the volume exactly it measure the volume of this chain including the air bubbles in it if you cannot get away from this air bubble then the carotid given by the density meter will be less that is why the density meter readings are not always correct if the hollow articles are there like few bangles it doesn't give any result it shows as low if the carotid is lesser than 11 it shows as low even though the tube tube uh, bangle is made with 22 carat gold mixture it shows as low because it cannot measure the volume exact the volume is calculated with the volume of gold as well as the volume of air inside the band therefore volume is bigger weight is the same then it divided by a bigger volume therefore we get a lesser density therefore it shows us lesser density lesser carotid or even uh, no carotid at all articles of small holes like this chain it also shows lesser amount of carotid therefore when we are operating the density meter we should be able to understand whether the figures given by the density meter is acceptable or not the reason is the volume of the pure gold not the your mixture of the gold if the article is embedded with pearls or any other thing gems stones pearls diamond whatever the thing the volume as well as the weight 
taken by the lesbian meter is not only the gold but altogether of a gold and other things. Therefore, we get the density of not gold but entire thing. If we get the entire thing density, we get the average carotage, which is not the gold carotage. Therefore, you can't use the density meter both to test the carrot for the purity of this type of article. It is not no needed to in, uh, insert the article into the density meter if the article is attached with James Strong or any other thing. There are several articles, uh, the people who come, uh, they are in the chain, then they remove from the neck, then it attach oil or dust or any other uh, impurities in the article. If we put this into the density meter, the volume may be with that small things. If it is so, the density is lesser, therefore the current also less. When you are using the density meter, these things, these all four areas will keep in mind before you decide the current rate. Therefore, density meter is not the not the best equipment to uh, measure the current rate, but it is the only equipment we can use. Therefore, when using the density meter, it is the it is a risk or on the other hand a disadvantage. Not only that, picture of that density meter works with the density. If it is given uh, according to the gold density, then it shows carat rate. If not only the 19.3, but even up to 11. Uh, density it gives us some carat rate because the density meter does not work out the carat but the density if there are any other item if there are any other metal in the article it shows as gold there are two other metals or elements platinum and tungsten both are equal or more than gold density Platinum, of course, is a precious metal. Uh, so far, we have not found uh, most more fake article, but tungsten is the same density people use to make article with tungsten inside and cover with gold. It gives us a good result by the density meter. Now, but this is the dangerous thing, this is the threat we face in the business. If the article is made with tungsten, density is perhaps may be the uh, highest or even the lesser, it shows as good carrot gold particle. Therefore, this is the threat or the risk we face when we are using the density meter. Therefore, we should understand first whether it is made with gold or otherwise with transform. Uh, we will talk much at the time of uh, talking about a particle about tungsten, therefore density meter can show as good gold article even though it is made with tungsten. We should keep in mind density meter does everything with the density, not the purity. Okay, then how to get any article embedded with other things like gem, pearl, diamond or any other thing or on the other hand if it is a tube particle, what to do? The thing is we can do it, we can test it, test it whether it is made with gold or not by using the touchstone. Touchstone is the equipment officially accepted. If you go to the court for a given witness, then you will have to tell, you have to uh, to the port, you use the custom test. Otherwise, density meter readings are not accept acceptable in the uh, in percent of a law. Therefore, we should understand how to uh, do the touchstone test. For a touchstone test, we need these five items: touchstone. Uh, there are several. Two types of touchstones. I'll show you. Uh, uh, this is these are the 
available fresh stones in the market. This is the Indian made one. This is Canadian, no Californian made one. This is the best one. We'll have to use this surface is very smooth. The surface of it, this one is not so much smooth. Therefore, black in color, uh, very smooth item is the best touchstone. We should use touchstone. Other than that, we need nitric acid. It should be in the concentrated mode. How to test the concentration? If you remove the lid over the nitric acid bottle, if you can see a white flame, white smoke, then it is okay. It is strength is okay. If there is no smoke, then test again whether it is acceptable with the strength is okay. Put a pin or a staple on the touchstone and add drop of nitric acid. If it reacts immediately, then strength is okay. If not, remove it, uh, replace by a new one. Uh, usually, we use in the gold, gold uh, centers this type of small bottle, 100 milliliter bottle. This is a plastic one. You can use this for even one year. Uh, no meaning you will have to keep it in the dark place that's only uh, then you can this the acid bottle you can replace the previous one and add from fill from this to not to the upper level about three quarter of the bottle because there's a lid if you put it in that the level of acid goes up therefore to allow to go up this level, fill up to a three-quarter level from this bottle. Then another thing we need salt, this usual salt, kitchen salt, whatever salt. This is react, this not take part in the reaction, which is like a catalyst. If gold react with acid, it accelerates by the salt solution. We use salt solution. Previously, we talked about 100% concentrated salt. But now we understood that it is not that about 50% or less concentration is quite enough. Use normal salt. Uh, you can take it even from home. Salt solution is the third one. The other one we need is gold sample. Gold samples are not compulsorily some of the banks, they don't take a uh, gold sample, but the thing is, as for the central bank directions, it's a must. Must mean uh, there should be. These are the pictures of gold samples. You can take 18 carat, 20 carat, or 22. Uh, if you use 24, even it's okay. But the thing is, cost of this is about uh, 1 lakh for this type of piece. It, it's about 2 plus gram. Other than that, if you undertake articles less than 18 carat, then 16 carat sample should also be there. This is the uh, fourth one we need. Other than that, we need bowl of bees wax. You can buy this from uh, T Street or Samya article, Samya equipment sold by some. Uh, some shops like uh, Raja Jewelers, uh, Sam Jewelers, like that. From there, you can buy this. Not from ordinary shops. You should buy it from there. This is the whole of these facts. And these are the five items we need. How to do this test? When the article took to your hand, firstly, check it whether it is a gold item. If you are sure that it is made with gold mixture, then do the test. If it is not possible to test by the density meter, use the touchstone test. How to do this test? Draw a line. Usual way of doing this is the acceptable way. I will tell first. There are uh, in practice what we will do. We will tell first. Draw a line from the sample from the article you got. Draw a line like this. 
it's about uh, two, two centimeters or one inch then you'll have to do it little thickly otherwise if you get the surface or the skin only you will get uh, as gold but if you go into the deep you will get other metals in the article you draw a line thereafter draw a parallel line by the by a sample out of this you will have to select which is match with the article you want to check out of this by the color you can see whether the article's color and the color of the sample is match then select one of this it is not be the correct one at the very first time can be a change uh, it can be changed later first you select one and thereafter you draw a line by that also so you have two lines this is drawn by the article this is drawn by the known gold sample this is let us see 20, 20 carat afterward put a drop of acid nitric acid to cover both these lines check for a minute it takes only seconds not a minute really uh, it is enough 30 seconds or 45 seconds less than one minute check whether these both lines react as same we know this is exactly gold made this is the one we'll have to check whether it is gold if both lines are reacted with the go with the nitric acid in the same manner thereafter add a little drop of salt again watch for a second watch for half and half a minute if both lines appear in the same manner the current edge of this one is equal to this one because this is 20 therefore this is also 20. the reaction of these both lines are same that is why we identify how to check the unknown one from a known one this is known article known for example this unknown one if both lines appear in the same manner same way same the same uh, picture then you decide the carrot of this both is same this is the known one like that you will have to do two or three times perhaps anyhow this is the official accepted way how to check by the touchstone usually a competent phoning uh, officer don't take this sample always he has kept in mind how far it dissolves if it is not 22 if it is 22 how far it dissolves if it is less than that by the color he can understand what is the character rate may be it's a really a practical practical uh, thing here like cycling like swimming like that you can't teach others this part is dissolved because of 22 this part is dissolved because 22 like that like I, nobody can tell it is by the experience only you can understand this is the way we will do by the touchstone test usually we don't use the sample we use only the article you get the article then draw several lines here and there from several places of the article thereafter add drop of acid by adding acid only you can say this is not cold or this is cold if it is immediately dissolved in the acid then it is not gold if the line appears after adding nitric acid if it is so it is not dissolved in acid therefore you can decide it is maybe gold then by the level or by the size of uh, here the line by the size of that the color we can decide whether it is 18 whether it is 20 or like that we can decide by your experience is the character of that article this is the way of doing by the uh, touchstone test this is the accepted one the central bank even say the required equipment should be uh, supplied to the pony department required equipment is the set of touchstone when you buy this uh, this uh, 
items from a, from a merchant, you should be able to take a good quality touchstone. Otherwise, it will be difficult to understand. If you use Indian type uh, touchstone, it is a little difficult for you to understand whether it is uh, 22, 20 or 18 like that. It is difficult. If it is a black pin color one, then you can easily decide. Nitric acid also use strength concentrated one. You can use a concentrated nitric acid even for one or two months or more. Afterward, if you use daily, remove it, replace it once in a month. If you don't use much, then you can use even for two months thereafter. Check the strength. Afterward, you can refill uh, nitric acid from the refill bottle. Sodium chloride is salt. You can use uh, in a day. You can use for even six months more or more. For example, it's not much much necessary, but it is important. Why should we use bowl, bowl of beeswax? We use to clean up the touchstone. You can see the touchstone here. There are several parts in this touchstone gold. You have to remove these part particles before you use the before you do the second test. Therefore, to remove these particles, you have to use the bowl of beeswax. After you draw these lines, then touch by the bowls of bowl of beeswax thoroughly. We we'll have to do it the same manner for several times. Afterward, all the particles here, gold particles, goes to the bowl of beeswax. Is the way you'll have to do. At the end of the day, you'll have to wash the touchstone by hot water and clean it. Clean it. The next day, when you, before you start work, add a drop of oil, coconut oil. Then you get a good one, good surface of the touchstone. The usual way of uh, practicing that is this test. If you use the gold samples, if you supplied gold samples by the management, in the very beginning of the day, you will have to record this in the, in the book. Otherwise, this, uh, these articles are worth about uh, two, three lakhs. Therefore, you should keep under your protection, your custody. At the end of the day, you'll have to hand over it to the key holding officers. When you use this set, keep it clean, in, clean and use it daily. This is the most important one to understand whether it is made with gold. Even though the article shows by the density meter as good carrot one or otherwise if it is shown low then you will have to use the touchstone otherwise you can understand it is really made with the gold or not therefore you will have to use both equipment both sets of equipments for even for single item and this is the most practicing method of testing gold before about uh, 1984, none of the bank used this remitter. Before that, special people's bank, they were the pioneers in the phone business. They didn't use this remitter until 1984, 85 like that. Before that, they started the business in 1962. For the whole, whole two decades, they used only touchstone. If you master the testing of touchstone, no need of using the density meter. All right. With the way of using the equipment to test whether it is made with gold or not. We talk about the behavior of gold. Uh, how does it react with other things, air, water, or acid? Gold doesn't react with any of those things. It doesn't react with air, it doesn't react with water, even it doesn't react with acid. That is why we could use acid test to identify gold because it does not react with gold. React with, uh, yes, acid does not react with gold. 
but other all metals react and dissolve in acid at the level of dissolving we understand the what is the character rate of that compound of the article usually pure gold doesn't react with acid solely used as a catalyst it speed up the reaction of gold and acid now uh, we want to go to the most important area up to now what we did is to measure the purity of gold we need two major things to give a valuation valuation is the most important thing of the gold loan officer everything depend on this valuation he is the most important person in this business if his valuation is less the customer won't come there if his valuation is excessive excessive or over value the customer will don't redeem it. then the business will affect it therefore valuation is the most important part for, part for any of valuation officer or uh, or gold loan officer therefore we will have to do a fair valuation valuation is the area where we want to keep we are we have to keep customers with us in the valuation the two factors are first the purity we check the purity by one of those one or two two, two, two or three uh, ways of doing the gold testing density meter touchstone 5x 10x lenses or 5 sensors or whatever the way we assume the carat level or the purity level of the article then we need to have the accurate gold weight if the article is only with gold the entire weight the gross weight is the weight of gold if the article is embedded with any other thing like gem pearl bead or glass then we'll have to reduce the weight of that or in art for the materials from the gold there is no proper way to tell how to uh, how to get the pure gold value gross value and the net value may be little different it depends on the shape or the pattern or the or the other items embedded in the article the gross weight and the net weight will differ anyhow you will have to have some idea about the other about the weight of other attachment if the attachment is stone or glass then you can have a little understanding about the density density of silica most items are made with silicon uh, compound density of silica is about 4 even if it is a gem the density of that is maximum is high 6 uh, the highest may be 6 in sri lankan gem uh, madagascar madagascar gem i saw about 7 close to 7 this is the yeah. then you will have to have uh, some understanding about the density of the article then you can guess what will be the weight according to its volume the density of 6 but the density of gold is about 17 or 18 it is one third of the weight of a similar part of similar volume of the gold and other thing. then we will have to assess how much will be the weight of non gold part we call it in gp non gold part you will have to assess that not actually uh, measure in the weight but assume you assume how much will be the weight of other non gold part then you will have to deduct from the gross weight of that and get the net weight by getting that net weight and the purity then if those are the major uh, factors of doing the valuation before you do the valuation you will have to have uh, some have some idea about the present gold value of the uh, present gold value to have a gold value or price you may go for this things local gold price always depend on the world gold price 
if you check the world gold price, you can assess how much is the gold price in Sri Lanka market. But at, at present, during this uh, corona period, value of gold you can't decide because the supply is less. Supply is very minimal now. Uh, now gold uh, importation is completely restricted. You can't import gold your own. There are several merchants, uh, licensed merchants in the country, about 50 odd. They are the people who import gold. But the thing is, because of this uh, deficit in the foreign reserves, gold imports are now very less. Therefore, demand is met by the gold supply in the mark in the local market. Most of the gold of the owners, they are lack of their short supply of gold. Therefore, the gold price of Sri Lanka market is bigger than the world market prices. Anyhow. We can assume how much will be the local market according to gold market. If you want to see the gold market of the world market price, then go to this website. There are several websites you can go. Go to the gold price dot org website. If you go to this website now, you can see the present gold value in the world. You can see here thousand eight hundred and eighty seven point seven eight dollars per ounce it says per ounce per ounce means here gold price uh, I mean, here the per ounce per ounce means per troy ounce troy ounce weight of troy ounce you know 31.103 grams in that manner you can calculate how much will be the local price of gold We're talking how to calculate the world market, uh, local market price according to gold, uh, world gold price. We can go through this this website. From that, uh, I got as an example the gold price of the world market, especially New York market, thousand seven hundred eighty per troy ounce US dollars. Then we will have to convert it into local currency. The local currency value. We assume it is 205 rupees per dollar. So if you have to multiply 1780 by 205, then you get the local price of the price that have been divided by 31.103. To see the uh, price of a single gram, then multiply by 8. Then you get value of 1 pound price of 24 karat gold. If you want to get the value of 22 karat gold pound, then divide by 22, 24, and multiply by 22. Then so you get the 22 pound rupee value. In Sri Lanka, there's a tax. There's an import tax uh, introduced for import of gold. It is about 10%. There are another NDT or, or any other, there's another small taxes altogether, it is about 14 percent. If you multiply it 114 and divide it by 100, then you get the value of Sri Lanka rupee according to, according to world market price. So, this equation you get the price of gold as 98,079 for 22 carat 1 pound. We call for this value as price. For gold, there are two prices, ask price and the bid price. If the ask price is this much, that is the price we'll have to pay for the jeweler shop owner to get any article made with a 22 carat gold. Usually this is not the exact amount. It depends according to merchant to merchant or otherwise they and they it will depend anyhow the, the approximate price as per our calculation it can be 99,000 it can be 98 or even it can be 1 lakh then we, the most important thing for us is uh, bid price bid price means the price what we can realize by selling 
usually bid price is little less than not little about the three thousand rupees less than the ask price. This is the price where we can sell articles in the auction of twenty two karat pipe. At this moment, if we sell this in the market, the minimum we can realize ninety five thousand. So my knowledge, about uh, three months, three weeks back, one of the one of the auction of the finance company, they have sold about hundred and two thousand per sovereign of twenty two karat. Therefore, this is the this not the actual market price of Sri Lanka in this. Epidemic situation, but for usual, so general situation, this is the way of calculating or way of assuming the gold value in Sri Lanka by Sri Lanka rupee wise. This price should be keep in mind before you give a valuation. That is also should keep in mind whether the price of gold is in an increase or decrease. If it is in an increase, you can go go for the maximum price. Approved by the head office. If the market price shown a decrease, then you should not go for the maximum amount approved by the head office. Head office does head office check this world market price as well as the local price. Then they decide the value of the, uh, how much we can grant for the two carat. They decide it accordingly. They give rates for each carat rate. Uh, that should be done in the professional manner. Some of the banks, some of the banks, or some of the banks, company I have so, they have given the prices, given the advance rates, not in a proper manner. Some of the bank I have, I have noticed, they give sixty thousand for twenty-two carat, but they give forty thousand for eighteen carat. There is no any link. There is no any relationship in between. That can be. There are really there should be a relationship in between. For a twenty-two carat, if we give sixty thousand, then you can calculate how much for twenty thousand twenty carat. Then divided sixty thousand by twenty-two carat, multiply by twenty, then you get the exact value of the twenty-two uh, twenty carat pound. Accordingly, you can put into the system. Usually, this by the head office. They put how much you can advance for each carat rate. Then we, as gold loan officers in the pony department, we do the valuation. Valuation means first we check the purity, then we check the weight. Both figures are fed into the system. Then system calculate how much we can grant for that particular item. It is the way of calculating how much we can grant for that. Article. It is not really an arithmetical arithmetical calculation because the assumption of carat rate is not the exact one. One person can say it is twenty, another one can say it is twenty-one. But if you say for an eighteen carat on twenty-two, it is not good. Therefore, increasing or decreasing one carat, maximum two carat. It's not the matter because we are granting 85 percent of the market value or the bid uh, price value of a gold item. Therefore, if you calculate, it is not the much necessary to calculate 100 percent accuracy of the advance. It can vary from 85 to 100 percent. Therefore, if you have calculate for an item of eight carat according to In the previous instruction, we pay seventy thousand for twenty-two carat gold. As per our calculation, the eight gram article we can offer seventy thousand. But if the customer requests at least two thousand more than that, we should not reject it because we are mitigating the risk. If you grant him another two thousand. Do you think that the customer will not redeem the article? If you pay seventy thousand, but customer needs seventy two thousand, if you pay two thousand more than your uh, valuation, do you think the customer will not redeem it? No, it will not happen. Therefore, depending on the customer, you can increase a little 
higher than the calculation you have already done. This is not, not, re not really an arithmetical equation or calculation by arithmetically. It is a negotiation. Really a negotiation with the customer. The customer is trustworthy. And also the article is a valuable one. You can sell it in the auction. Then you can consider little much little about what you can calculate. At that time, if you assess firstly as 20, then even you can enhance it to 21. That's no problem. But the problem is comes from your auditors. Auditors may raise so many questions against you. Therefore, you will have to answer them only for them, not for the bank, not for the finance company. Because if the article redeemed by the person, or on the other hand, if you didn't redeem it, if you can auction the item more than the value that you need to realize, then the bank is in a better position. Therefore, in the valuation, you must keep in your mind that it is not the arithmetical calculation, but a negotiation with the customer. Our part is to mitigate the risk. What the risk we are facing, if the article did not redeem it, can we auction it? At the present market value, if we can realize 95,000 per covering of 22 carat, if you are giving the advance of 80,000 for an entire period, you will have to collect as the interest maybe 9,000 or 10,000. 80,000 advance, 10,000 interest, altogether 90,000, you can definitely recover 95,000. Therefore, no fear to give you that advance. Therefore, advance valuation is the advance, uh, the uh, assumption of how much we can grant against that article. It is uh, not uh, science but the uh, art. You will have to check everything surrounding whether you can sell it if the customer didn't redeem it. Don't trust 100% on the customer. If you over overvalue the item, depending on the customer, you will face little difficulty. Nobody, no, no, none of the customers will lose themselves. If the price of the gold goes down, most of the customers, they will not come to redeem it. It doesn't matter for us. If we, at least we can recover advance, it's okay. As at the very beginning, I told you, 95% of the customers, they come their own and redeem the article. It left only 5% of the article to recover forcefully by way of an auction or otherwise by calling the customer, only 5%. Therefore, you can go to the maximum without any difficulty because 95% of the customer will redeem articles. Therefore, in valuation, doing the valuation, you should not much fear uh, because in this situation, the gold prices are going up, up and down. Uh, because of this difficult situation, price of gold, we assume that it won't go below 1,700 uh, ounce in the uh, visible future. Say for six months or more, even for one year, I don't think that the value of gold will go less than 1,700 per ounce. Even though it goes uh, lesser than 1,700, local price may be as a mess now because the rupee value depreciate every day. Therefore, in doing the valuation, this everything should keep in mind. The most important thing here also, again, I will remind you the ownership of the article. It is most important thing. If the article is not owned by the customer, if it is taken by a known party, even though it is taken by a known party, don't give for the maximum. Because the taker, the advance, the, the borrower is not suffered by the option of the item, but the other owner. Therefore, if the item is not owned by the same person, give a lesser amount. Those are the things you have to keep in mind when doing a valuation. Anyhow, valuation is the most important thing of a uh, goal loan officer. 
everything depend on him because if the item doesn't redeem it then you can you should be able to sell it or otherwise if you can call at least the customer and force him to redeem it then it is also up to the your loan officer valuation is the most important thing for us to understand for us to learn on this pawning business there are several types of items uh, when valuing the item these factors uh, come on us if the item is solid type then the density mirror reading is acceptable what are solid type items coins uh, then rings without any gems of uh, gems or gem or stone bangles without any carvings mat decoration those type of particles solid type if it is shown by the density meter the rate we can accept but this type of particles are very less very rare not rare it is less about uh, 30 40% of the usual uh, items are this type of thing but in other and eastern areas solid items are very rare even not even a 10% of the items are this solid type items almost all are with some other attachments therefore the meter reading cannot accept always of that type of particles the solid type but with with small stones or simple decoration even though that you can guess the character trait by the density meter you can guess not the actual if the character trait given by the density meter is 20 if the item or the ring is with the with a small about 0.5 gram stone then if the density meter says 20 carat you can give without any hesitation you can give 20 or 20 because density meter shows a good carat rate even though it is with the stone this type of one also density meter reading acceptable with adding some another one or two carat in valuation article with possible air bubbles like box chain a small chains then density meter reading you can get as a base but it can add little much articles enamel or silver i uh, when i have gone for audit of for uh, the audit of some banks i saw some of the pawning officers they have deduct much for this type of articles from the gross value article is with enamel or silver spray there is no weight at all there i have seen several uh, necklaces in these necklaces there is a silver paint silver paint means white in color paint with gold two tone color items there is no weight we have to decide really whether it is uh, uh, non gold part or it is gold with a small spray Hey, if it is understood as spray, then no need of deducting for weight for the weight. How to decide it whether it is a spray or a uh, non-gold part? You may rub on the touchstone the same place, the play, particular place of the item with white in color. If the color given in the touchstone is gold, then it is a small spray, very very thin spray. There is no weight at all. then you can use the density meter readings uh, or otherwise you can use the touchstone test or acid test at given is acid test you can do the density meter reading as well as the acid test for that type of item if the article is beads pearls etc dm is not valid as i told first no need of even putting it to the density meter only the touchstone test should be done if it is done if you are in the department if you are the valuer then make a note in the gold loan ticket or whatever you did the acid test or the stone type so stone test ts then auditing people they know that you have done that acid test article sit non gold part in it but unable to see there are several type of this type of particle talc body special in a talc body there's a, there's something not gold inside the talc body 
mostly it says it is plastic so fiber like that surrounding that road uh, that uh, say small uh, road or oh, whatever uh, the thing the gold parts gold gold small stripes are covering the that non gold part the talcum is made in that manner inside it something not gold, uh, gold made on the weight of that we were told by manufacturers of tali kodi they add about 6.6 grams per 8 the one pound 0.6 gram of non gold part so if it is 80 gram of tali kodi it are added up 6 grams for non gold part you can see it in tali kodi you can see what is inside it. Uh, in earrings also, the balls are not with gold. Inside of the ball is not gold, but another mixture. Uh, there's a term called. Uh, it's a mixture of other other metals, not gold. Then you will have to remove the ball of the earring. Only the front part you will have to measure the weight. you don't get the weight of ball in certain necklaces also there are such parts inside if the part is not visible you guess how much you will have to deduct it depend on your competency how much you will have to deduct then how if the item is okay if the item you can fetch a good value in the auction then you can go for a little higher amount if it is not if the item is not easily auctionable then you consider a lesser amount the halo type particles most of the companies they don't accept it to particles you fear something inside maybe some some other metal if you interview the customer then you can assume whether it is a genuine item or not if the customer bought this item actually from a gold shop is a is a acceptable gold shop or non gold shop then they don't do in such not good things they don't manufacture articles inserting some other not gold metals therefore it depends on the merchant if the articles merely manufactured to to own with you then it is a not accept not should not accept it. if the article as i told at the very beginning what is uh, in the interpretation of what is pawning we told about personal articles made of gold if the article is personal one means he has bought from a jewel shop if he bought it he believed it is a gold item If it is so, the customer will redeem it because he has paid actual gold value. If it is so, even though we pay for it, even though something inside it, the customer does not. He will redeem. It. Therefore, when you are taking halo type particle, tube type particle, interview the customer also. By interviewing, you can understand whether it is a fake or not a one, not a fake or good one. then if it is your interview is done uh with a effective manner then you can understand it will be redeemed by the owner therefore you can grant an advance if it is no don't give any advance for this type of thing if you have any if you have a single doubt don't accept it some of the company some of the finance company so has even they don't they have put in their circular don't accept to but two type ones now only the problem is if a customer comes with some in some other article with a tube type uh, pair of bangle if you reject the pair of bangle the customer will go back he will not form with you other other articles either. therefore it is a thing up to you to understand to realize whether acceptable or not 
if the item only hollow type if the only item is not hollow type item then you will have to interview the customer and satisfy yourself it is a good item if he brings several items with one hollow item then accept it without fear the yes, raw gold items also some of the banks they don't accept it raw gold i raw gold mean coin biscuit mousse khatti like that mousse means i don't know whether you have heard about it mousse gold is when people buy article articles from an auction thereafter they break it into pieces and melt it with acid after dissolving acid they get rid of other metals and separate the gold and melt it and get the uh, thick part of gold to call mousse in the most item there can be more higher than 22 karat gold but there are another one for cutting cutting means if the item completely break and melt it then you get the solid part it for cutting it is included on other uh, metals also silver copper and any other metal was there if it was there then in cut pieces the karat Rate will be lesser than 22. It can be 20, even 16. That can be, but you can take it. If your circular didn't say not to accept it, you can take it because it is easier to sell. If you put this type of item in the auction, if it is not a fake one, definitely people buy it uh, rather than other items. Some of the bank they don't accept even coins. They have misunderstood the interpretation of the central bank direction. That is. Personal items, personal articles. Coin become personal article. It is not necessary to hang it. It is not necessary to wear it. You can keep it yourself. Coin is a personal article. I know one bank they don't accept it if it is not with the hoop. Even biscuit they don't accept. But it is not a barrier to undertake it. You can have it. You can take it as a security. You can sell it easily. Coins and biscuit also you can get it. If it is a raw type item, then the decimeter reading is the same reading. You can assess. You can't add anything more than that. Right. When you are doing the valuation, these are the things you should keep in mind. Whether the current rate given by the decimeter is acceptable or Should be with an adjustment. Weight of the item, whether you can take as it is or otherwise, will have to reduce. We have to deduct for the non-gold part. It is up to you to decide. Nobody can say this is the exact weight of the item. This is the exact weight of the carat. Nobody can tell unless it is measured. Therefore, the valuation officer. Has the freedom to decide according to his experience. This is the carat rate. This is the value. This is the weight of gold. This is the value. It is depend on the competency competency of uh, that staff. Doing the valuation is the most important thing. We we'll have to thoroughly understand carat rate and the weight of gold. In doing so, next one, the most important thing, as we talked in the very beginning, in the doing the uh, sort analysis, the threats. This is the threat we face. Fake articles. About thirty years back, fake articles was only with silver gold plated ones. There were little cover articles. Uh, almost all were gold electroplated. Electroplated items. Uh, little difficult for us to understand by doing the touchstone test. If you do a very smooth touchstone test, you feel it is made with the gold item, gold. But if you do it little roughly, then you can understand. Then we will. See what are the fake items. 
which are brought to us. There are three types of fake articles. One is electroplated items. Electroplated items means the item is made with cheaper metal. Item made with the cheaper metal. It can be copper, silver, or even lead. The item is made with that low cost metal and plated entirely outer surface of the item with gold. Electroplating, I think you might have seen in, uh, in front of some shops, there are bottles, there are people tipping with bottles. In the bottle, there's a liquid. They get that and electroplated. Electroplated is, electroplating is done with gold, with actual gold, 18 carat 22 carat 22 the item put in the in the bath it is called cathode in the cathode the item is hanged in the anode the other item uh, the item not really a piece of gold is hanged thereafter uh, current is passed through that by that process by converting the this uh, complete in this circuit particles of the gold item goes to the item made with low cost metal it co entirely covers with gold particles if it is done for several minutes entire outer surface or the skin is covered with gold, uh, gold particles it looks like gold thereafter but the thing is, density is not enhanced. If such an item took into your hand, you can check the weight by your hand. The weight is very less than gold. By taking it into your hand, you can guess this is not a good item, this is not a gold item, because the weight is not right enough as a gold item. If you can't understand whether it is gold, then you can put it into the density meter. By the density meter, it will show it is low. Low means no gold at all. Why it is so? The, uh, by uh, electroplating gold outer surface of the item, the density will not enhance. The upper end, uh, density of that item is according to that metal. If it is copper, the density may be 8 plus. If it is silver, this it may be about 10, okay, no plus. Then if you put it into the density meter, it shows low, then definitely you can reject it. Electropated items, very recently we have not seen, except two or three occasions. Now they don't take them to own because we are using the density meter. It is easy to understand, easy to detect. This is not the gold one. Therefore, now you don't fear about it because none, uh, recently people will not make item by electroplating to pawn. Uh, those days, almost all items were electroplated, brought to banks, then accepted it, then lost to the next thing. But now don't fear it. You can check it even by improving your five senses. By taking it to the hand, you can say this is not a gold one, take back, or otherwise if the person came, came with uh, knowledge of the, he is pawning a fake item, you have the authority to send him to the hand of the legal authority. Section 33 of the Pawn Doctor's Ordinance, as well as Provincial Council Statutes, the provision given that say, if you question the customer from where you buy this, if the customer says, I buy, bought this from a jewelry shop, then you feel he is lying, then you are authorized to send him to the police. You can call the police and hand over the person to the police. You have, you have that authority by the law. Usually, electropated items are not presented for, uh, for pawning now. Second one is the covered with gold. What is covered with gold? 
the item is made with low cost metal like silver copper uh, iron like that the afterwards entirely it is laminated by thin gold foil if it is so there's a certain percentage of gold about 5% 6 7% not much more than 10% there is gold part of that item if you use the touchstone test you can detect it by using the touchstone test you see entire item is with gold because you get the particles of the item the skin of the item to the touchstone it is gold because it is covered with a thin gold foil therefore it is not easy to understand by the touchstone test but if you put it in the density meter easily you can identify it shows low to mislead you i have seen several items i have made this type of covered ones uh, to mislead pony officer how did it happen there are small stones attached to the item very small item because uh, if you put into the density meter it, it shows low you believe that because of the stones it doesn't say that does, doesn't show the character not because of that entire thing is made with low cost item therefore if such a item come to your hand you first suspect it whether it can be a gold or not because usually for the for the uh, usual bearing of the item this type of articles are not made that is why personal articles made of gold is the very good light given to us to understand whether it is a fake item or not if it is covered with gold you can't identify it by touchstone test but you can identify it by this meter as well as the weight you feel is very less than gold therefore when you take it to your hand by that instance only also you can guess this is not be a gold these both types are very rarely now presented for pouring now this is a dangerous item article manufacturer is tungsten as i told you the density of tungsten is 19.3 if the item is made with tungsten and covered like this covered entire thing with a thin foil of gold you believe the item is made with entire gold if you put it into density meter density meter will show 22 carat even 23 or 24 can show perhaps maybe 18 20 15 like that it can be shown by the density meter because density meter doesn't calculate the density uh, calculate the carat it calculates only the density the so density of tungsten needs equal to gold therefore it shows as good gold this is the threat now we are facing in several places almost uh, more than 50% of the pune centers at least one of the such item has accepted by them now uh, most of the people they have come for training program they have got the experience from others also now they could identify they could detect it therefore uh, recently the level of owning of this type of fake article less anyhow the risk is there uh, the danger is there till article manufacturing is tungsten only for the purpose of owning they do we should understand we should study about these thing carefully for our fortunate tungsten cannot melt because melting point of tungsten it is 3422 celsius it's a very very high temperature if you remember melting point of gold it is 1063 you can get that temperature by burning uh, charcoal or coal by by uh, firing any type of uh, 
thing you can't make transform. Unless the transform it is difficult to manufacture good shape of items. Therefore, good shape of items are not made with transform. They do according to the piece they found. It's little difficult to cut it even. It's difficult to polish it. If a person take into hand a piece of tungsten, this square piece, then he convert it to a pendant. If he got a wire like tungsten, he made it into a even chain by covering entire thing with the uh, gold foil. Almost all tungsten items so far we found are about two, three categories. Mostly pendants. Uh, at the very beginning, in 2010, I think yeah, 2010 is, is the earliest time we found tungsten in a stock of the gold item in a upon the first position in 2010. Uh, entire world, uh, this uh, pendant. Thereafter, we found bangles, net bangles lot of net bangles. Now it's very popular for them rings made with transplant. There are so many things. Recently found even coins. There are several coin types in the world. A crujeron, eagle, like that. Almost similar to that, that uh, picture. Transplant made such coins were produced for point uh, of recently. Therefore, when you take to your hand any item, as I remember you at the very beginning, check the thickness of the item. If the item thickness of that is more than one millimeter, suspect it at the very, very beginning. To suspect it, it can be a fake item made with transfer. Because 99% of the items we found in stocks are thicker than 1 millimeter. 1 millimeter is the size or thickness of a coin. It's closer to 1 millimeter, or maybe 0.9 millimeter. Anyhow, if the item is thicker more than 1 millimeter, always you think it can be a fake item. But at the very first class, don't say to the customer this day, but you may check it. If the thickness is more than one millimeter, then what to do next? Check for the sound. In the five senses, I told you the gold sound is bell sound. You will have to uh, put into your memory the sound of gold. Then you get put the item thicker than one millimeter. Then you check it with the color and shape. Thereafter, listen to the sound. You put the item on the touchstone, or otherwise, if there is a place to put on that, don't put uh, on the floor. Put it there, then listen to the sound. If the sound is dull, definitely it can be a fake item. Two tests are there for every item in bigger size one. Check the thickness. If the thickness is bigger, then listen to the sound. If the sound is dull, definitely it can be a fake item. What to do next? Friction the customer thoroughly. Friction the customer. From where you buy this? If the customer says something, first check again. I bought it from there, there, here and there. Like right that. Mostly they will say it is not mine. I was given by a friend of mine. Then you may consider it is a fake item. You may think whether to hand over to the police or not, or otherwise send the person back. Likewise, you can decide up to you. It's up to you. If the item is made transfer, no need of putting it into the meter. No need of testing by the touchstone. Both tests are positive for transfer items. Therefore, don't test it. Do it yourself by your five senses, then decide whether this can be a fake. You may question the customer, customer, customer in, in 
certain step customer will have no answer to give you therefore you can decide it is not good even if the customer is so so uh, smart then he can answer for any question of yours even though you are not uh, acceptable uh, the answers of the customer they reject it you can reject because the, item, the funds are yours item is his, uh, himself you can tell our head of has told us not to accept this big sticker items therefore sorry uh, please check for in any other place like as you may reject it if you have any suspect don't accept it trust our article is little bit of now to understand whether it is made it those days trust an articles made it is it was very easy to understand identify because the, it was done in a very rough manner now articles are presented in a very good uh, shape very good pattern uh, and the outer surface is also like the gold that is the problem we face now therefore identifying tungsten is the most important area for a owning officer gold loan officer to master i'll show you some of the found fake articles from the stock of owning officers owning uh, stocks i'll show you when i'll talk in lengthy these are the items found in 2010 at the very beginning of the finding of this fake article of made of transparent this is the first set in that set there were six type of pendants uh, and uh, there were ten also this is the one uh, they have made at the very beginning if in this type of one taken to a pawn shop now they will believe this is not a gold with the shape and the pattern uh, everything is very dull they have now reject but the thing is they have not rejected this they have put into the resonator it shows 20 or 22 one 21 22 like they have accepted it i'll show you uh, the set of that actually is the another one this has been found in some area in uh, maharagama borlas kamoa batramul area there were two ladies from uh, Atrugiriya, they were the people, they have found it. This is another one. These are the pendants you found in the stock in 2010. So these are the, these were the first items found in stock made of tungsten. Piece of tungsten put into the middle, then covered entirely with a thing called of gold. side of that item afterward we uh, i was given these pictures i send it to known people known phone officers of the country i emailed at that time thereafter i took from the email i got it from some other places in our stock we found this type of item also they have shown this is also not a gold gold arm they have broken it to pieces you can see how, the, how did it appears and they have separated the parts in it this is the part made it transfer density of me this one is exactly 19.3 if you put this into the density meter it shows 24 carat the first items first in, in the first very first year in the 2000 year 2010 is all found this is received from another finance company this of this the weight of this about uh, nine pounds, about seventy grams. See on the band, right? thickness. You may think about the thickness. How much will be the thickness? About two millimeters. About thickness. More type of one is also made with transparent. This all found 
in uh, this found in 2012 bracelet inside of it is made with transparent these are the items found very early period uh, in finding out the items and also this found in uh, in informally chain you can see the pattern of this chain see is it look like uh, albert chain or uh, the type of chain is not this look like the silicon chain ali dumbbell up again you see here the transparent piece uh, the outer surface out of foil broken there are you can see this black color item these are the items we found at the very beginning here also is a pendant the pendant entire part outer this is with transparent rods this is pure gold the pure means about 18 karat gold the weight of this is about 10% of the total this is 9 uh, gram pendant out of it this is about uh, less than 1 about 1 gram in the same place we found this also four pieces if you break this you can see two pieces these two pieces are not clearly bonded they have place gum and uh, fix to the other one if it is easily breakable this at next these are the items found in the option because of the thickness i guess this can be not the gold one we listen for the sound it was dull in sound thereafter we broken it we cut it when you cut it you can see the foil here this is the foil thin foil it's completely laminated entire ring after cutting only we found this another another ring the thickness is very bigger it was almost 2 mg that is why we suspect it cannot be a gold one this after cutting it you can see the black in color ash color is the transparent color you can see the thickness here the thickness of here is 3 mm those are 3 mm this is 1 mm 3 mm about 2 mm thickness if you found this type of ring or whatever the thing suspect it cannot be a gold see for the finish the finish of this is very good now it shines as gold but the thing is thickness is the thing that we had to suspect the thickness of this also bigger than 1 mm about closer to 2 mm this is a small piece of plastic if it is covered with gold this is covered with gold often if you apply acid it doesn't dissolve it doesn't dissolve after adding uh, salt it doesn't dissolve when you put it to the resemeter you can see the density of it which the date is potency Thank you.
You can see another another chain we found from here in the city. This is the, the one place you can see the entire black in color. The piece is uh, the chain is made it uh, and is transparent. Another one is a bracelet. The, how you see the assume the thickness is also about three millimeter. This, the, uh, this three K, uh, two chains and the bracelet phone in a phone shop of quality by a same person he has uh, taken about 580,000 for these three items with the bracelet the look is fairly good look like a genuine one but the thing is thickness is very big that is why they found after keeping the stock they found it the person has gone away We found in a uh, uh, finance company. This is after cutting it, you could identify it is made with the transparent inside. Another fake ring. Now it is done. The shape and the pattern is look like genuine one. There's a stone also. Those days we believe that it is difficult to embed the uh, stone. Now they do that also. Yeah. Is that awesome, Bengal? There are several bangles uh, we found in the stocks. You, you guess how much will be the thickness of this. This is also more than one millimeter in time. That is why we could found this not a gold item. It's another type of item. I'll show you the genuine one. Here the thickness of the this side is very thick. Almost all the thick the size is thick. I'll show you genuine one. This genuine bangle. You see, in a genuine bangle, there's a hinge. You'll have to open this, unless you can't put it with your hand. The thickness of edges are very, not that much thick. It's a very small, very thin, about half a millimeter, less than half a millimeter. But the weight of this is less than 12 grams. Well, the maximum may be one and a half pounds. Others, these are much more than two, three pounds. I show you. Weight of this about 20, 25 grams. Weight of this also say almost 30 grams. There are, enough, there are some other type of things we found, transplant, this 5.62 grams. Because of the thickness only we could suspect this cannot be a gold one. This was found in a stock of items put onto the auction. Shining, very shining. Outer surface is very good. Uh, there are crosses here. The cross, cross, there's a 
special type of things used by ladies, cross, yes, this is a, after cutting, we found that it completely made it transparent. Recently found transparent coins, eagle, eagle brand coins. There are this type of genuine ones are there. Thus they have taken the this uh, print by getting some some way gold ornamental metal. Uh, what do you call it? If you cut these pieces, you found this this made it not gold but transparent. This also transparent made coins. Entire part is completely transparent, covered by gold and press it. If you forcefully do, uh, forcefully enter some sharp edge for this, you can separate the coin and the uh, this coil separately. By that way, you found this is made with transparent. This type of genuine ones are also there because of the face they have taken it. When you put it, this into the decimeter, they might have found it 22 carat or more. That's why they have accepted it. At the time of auctioning, we found this is not the real one. Under them, and the fake items, we found this type of one ones also. This is not transparent. This made with low cost one and covered, not covered really, elaborated with gold. There were small stones, you can't see it by here, here in the edge. They have embedded very thin small stones. When you put in the density, it shows low. The people who have taken that they have suspected it as gold but density doesn't show the character because of the storm that is what they have given their answers when you use the touchstone test it, it doesn't dissolve it appears gold more part of gold is there therefore they have taken this but this is not gold this is made with low first and elucidated with gold to cheat us and show it as gold. Another one, fake Tali Kodi. We told you Tali Kodi, when you are taking the Tali Kodi, it is very difficult for to understand whether it is made with gold, you can use the touchstone test. Because you use the touchstone test, you get only the skin of this. Inside this, there are so many small threads. Therefore, it is difficult for us to do the touchstone test. You can put this into the density, even though you put it in the density, there are so many air bubbles here in the inside. Therefore, you can't get a result. Therefore, you it is not. Uh, is not, not uh, good for doing this both test only the test is interview the customer by five cents as well as the interview the customer only you can understand whether it is made of gold or not when the customer brings this type of item if the talik body is alone no any other item then you may thoroughly interview the customer you may know Thalikori use only once in the lifetime at the marriage only. They don't manufacture, they don't buy Thalikori in between. If the Thalikori is bring by an unmarried person, then you have to suspect whether it can be a gold or not. Because unmarried person, if it is his is own one, will have to think it can be a fake or, or stolen one. 
therefore interviewing customer when you are taking sali kodi is very important to interview the uh, presenter then satisfy 100% your sort belongs to him or, her, or otherwise the owner of the agent or the owner that is only way you will have to identify whether it is not a fake one and the fake tal kodi when you break this you can't break all the tal kodi when it present the you because it is not uh, good enough for us to test the article in front of the customer to break it after breaking only we identify this is not good not uh, gold inside is black in color when you when you add acid these are the fake particles there are so many fake particles there uh, i'm not much necessary uh, so everything when you get an article to your hand at the very first time use five sensors and segregate this can be suspected this can be genuine like that afterward check everything by decimeter when it is possible then the, the, the touchstone test or otherwise check yourself thoroughly then you can understand this cannot be a good one or otherwise if it is suspectable interview the customer by the customer interviewing only you can uh, you can show yourself it is a genuine one there are another one when you are doing the valuation there are low quality items at the very beginning i think i told you not to accept in bulk smaller ones these are such items this has been found by one person uh, in area say uh, somewhere in gambo the person has taken has advanced from that company more than 50 million by keeping this type of things the size of the item uh, is very very uh, more 0.65 grams weight of one item is 0.65 if you check these all item by using the touchstone test how long you will take to test this therefore the person who has taken this has not test this item therefore it is very very risky to take this type of item this is not entirely gold the back side of the item is this bowl is not gold on the other hand this is manufactured with 12 carat ice 12 carat gold usually earrings are not made with the carat because you can't sell it the people cannot sell it those people don't buy it by by paying so many uh, value if you now buy a 1 gram of earring it may cost more than 25 rupees a 1 gram earring so if the uh, manufacturing cost therefore they make they made they are with lesser carat if you took this type of Uh, items in bulk, the customer will not really me. If the customer didn't really me, we have no any option other than send to auction. In the auction, they say they don't buy it because if you melt it, you can't get even ten per ten carat from this. Therefore, it is very risky to take this type of items in bulk. If you take two bang two pairs from a buyer, even though it is not gold, he will really me because. he has paid money to the other shop he is not aware whether it is made it gold or not therefore the person will really meet on the other hand cost to be very less you might have paid 2000 3000 rupees but for a bulk you may pay millions so don't undertake this type of smaller things in bulk this is also same in a in other place 0.4 gram of each pair They are means two, one is less than point two gram. Right. By showing this, I think you might have got in some idea about fake articles. There are three types of fake articles, but. now it is uh, only one fake article you get uh, at present 
those are made with tungsten. Tungsten uh, for our benefit, tungsten is not melteable. It is very difficult to melt and make uh, good article like gold. Therefore, they made items with not such a good pattern, good shape. Therefore, very easy to understand, easy to identify this type of article made with tungsten. It is thicker, very thicker than genuine items. This is another electroplated tali body. This is a tali body, okay? This is made with low cost copper or silver like that. Afterward, uh, they have coated. This is a very older one. This uh, you might have found in the stock about 10 years back. When you do the transform test, you see it is dissolved. This is the place where I have added acid. This is the place where I added acid. It 100% dissolved. If you do the transform test, you could easily identify them. This is the one we recently found. We feel that this is made with platinum because of the color here. So far, we have not exactly identified made with platinum, but the thing is, there's a risk now because the price of platinum, platinum, price of platinum is lesser uh, than gold. The price of platinum is half the price of gold. Therefore, if somebody manufacture items with platinum he can get about 40,000 rupees by owning one pound of item made with platinum that the that the value as per the person uh, advanced space we are giving value of roy ounce of platinum is about 700 dollars but the value of uh, roy ounce of gold is more than 1700 Therefore, there's a very big difference. Therefore, there's opportunity for people to manufacture platinum and covered by gold. If you put this item into the density meter, definitely it will show no more than 22 carat. Your uh, density of platinum is 21.3. It is bigger than gold. Therefore, uh, we believe that it is made with gold if it is done. It is easier than tungsten to manufacture fake item by uh, platinum because, but even though that uh, the melting point of this is about 1700, more than 1700, therefore it is not much easy to uh, melt this. Anyhow, platinum items are there now. Platinum items uh, now in the market, you can buy one item from the market and cover with gold. Therefore, there's a risk still there. Therefore, when you get items, carefully check this. Okay. Again, we go for the main presentation. We were talking about identification of fake article. I think you might have learned something much more than uh, you are aware. Uh, the threat part of the business is the identification of fake article. In ordinary programs or face to face programs, we were talking how to identify people uh, when they are presenting their items. The body language and the moment of uh, customer eye moment also uh, gives you some, some sort of sign to identify whether he is uh, doing his lying. Uh, if you want to go through this, you may go through there are several websites. Its uh, websites are 
named as how to detect liars. If you go through this website, how to detect liars, there are several clues to identify whether a person lies to you. Then, the, to identify the person, uh, if you interview with the customer, then you, it is to identify whether he is lying or not. There are several clues given in that website. You may go through them. I don't want to describe it, uh, this session now. You can identify some sort of uh, such people. Right. Next, uh, we can discuss about how to uh, do this pony business. About two hours now. Let us stop for a moment, about a 10 minutes break. And we are talking uh, in the practical manner, practical way of doing pony uh, with the dual control and other everything. Let's stop for 10 minutes. I'm back uh, now at the uh, 28, uh, say 340. You may come back. Let us start again. Now we are talking about the procedures, what we are doing in the boning department. Most necessary thing. We were talking in the customer service uh, quality improvement. Uh, uh, place where yeah, uh, in the empathy we should inculcate the confidence in customers in doing so we should protect their items as well their confidence with that packing article is an important one uh, i told you that if the item is a bigger one you should Pack that item in this manner. So the bigger protein packer, you keep the necklace in that and place the ticket somewhere here inside it. When you are holding the ticket, you should give assistance to the auditing people. When audit people comes, they check the items, they check the serial number. Uh, name and address is not much necessary, but description of jewelry is an important one. Total weight and the gold weight, the unit weight and the loan amount. As well, carat rate also important for them. When audit people come, they check this packet. Check the number and the description of article, here gross weight, net weight, as well as the carat rate. If you hold the ticket in that manner, then easier for them to check article quickly. Because if a badge, they are having about say 5,000 articles, it takes so many days to check it. Therefore, even in a, in a single day, they can check it by, uh, by going through the outstanding report, number calling out. The number should be appear on the face of it. Here, number should be very visible there. Better to write the number here by a finding pen in bigger size. If it is so, it is very good for them to understand. On the other hand, when you take that item, when the customer redeem it, then it is, if it is written somewhere here, the number in a bigger letter, then it is easy to find out from the, from the uh, place where. Usually we stack the item in a tray, metal tray. In the metal tray, one, uh, there are two sides of that. In the metal tray, one side you can pack normal items, minimum 30. If you stack it in a proper manner, you can stack them about 30 or uh, 60 in a tray. There are 16 trays in a safe. In a safe, then you can pack about 4,000 articles. When holding the item, the wrap the ticket in this manner, visible to serial number, this is article total weight, and then pack it with a smaller size like this. This is a big article, big article not for the other one, 
usually this is the size of the packet maybe then you can easily stack in the normal tray the the, uh, the length of it is four inch the height of it two and a half inch if you fold the item as well as the folding packet to that size you can stack easily 30 items in the side 60 items in the, in the tray then uh, you use the save and time very effectively then ne next one next we need stock register usually all the items should be recorded in a register called stock register we call it uh, stock register as uh, another togapota in this stock register the main requirement to enter withdrawals and deposit separately and also the balance should be there how many items there your manual says how to offer how to how to uh, record in this register how to operate it it is given in the manual anyhow order revised to these are the required pages date it should be there details of article details of the packet that is the number uh, then we do, when you withdraw it the number as the signature of the officers we call it in later the control these are the main requirement but better to have uh, another in safety feature with safety features this is the modern book of stock that should be date and the time open time open the same then close time then they know how long you were keeping the safe open you open the safe at 9 30 close it 9 38 you know then everybody know eight minutes kept open the uh, safe longer period keeping the op safe open is dangerous because uh, there can be so many threats uh, in preparing this register withdrawals and deposit in another two categories usually we are taking items to redeem the articles after payment of the dues to the counter in that sense the ticket is there with the gold or GLT is with the gold on ticket with the tickets there when you are withdrawing articles if the ticket in hand you may better to record it in a separate way if the ticket is not there there are several instances we will have to take back articles from the safe without having the ticket as well without before the paying the uh, dues there are something there are some instances we will have to take article from the safe for customers requirement to show the article item to him in certain instances they will enhance the item enhance the uh, value or otherwise they pay the part of it and uh, do a fresh whole loan ticket in that sense we are taking items without go loan ticket in hand better to record them both in a separate column as a in deposit deposit in mean at the end of the day usually we are depositing art items in the main set we'll talk how to do it uh, Later part depositing items when payment main go loan tickets are separately others separately payment main go loan tickets mean you have already paid they mean the customer kept with us and take advance in certain instances they enhance the value in that instance also we have made some payment there are some other things perhaps maybe the police officers will come to you for an investigation and ask to produce them the ticker, the packet. We are taking items from the safe for this requirement. Then in here, in this place, the ticket is not the policeman. Therefore, we are report, we are recording that item here. When the item again, we are keeping the safe 
it should be in here not here likewise if you can do this better because there are several codes has taken place in several places by using this stock book they have not recorded in the stock book but they have taken items that is only the suspicion the item is not in the safe somewhere they have somebody might have taken their practice post they are taking item without reporting without recording this unless ticket is not there therefore to avoid such situations better to record in this manner better to prepare stock book in this manner right then the dual control concept this is the very important one to protect our rights as a less customer side what is dual control dual control mean every access and it's uh, taking items everything is done jointly by two people there are two sets of people who handle keys there are two keys to open the safe we used to call it a class and b class or first and second likewise anyhow there are two sets of keys in the sets there are two keys of the same one a class two keys b class two keys you are you are taking the safe with the set of four keys four keys separately you are you are having this uh, package separately a class keys in a separate box b class keys in a separate box safe in a separate manner safe is transported by one vehicle keys are sent to you in a uh, in other situation another perhaps maybe the people they will come you and hand over a sealed packet when the sealed packet came to you at the very beginning you should start the dual control what is dual control unless two people uh, open the door you can't open it unless you both do this locking it is not ready to lock the safe two people should be there to open as well as to lock close it then you get keys from the manufacturer separately in two separate packets the manager should not open the packet if the manager is authorized officer of handling one type of key that may be a or otherwise b then he can take the the proper uh, set of keys a o b the manager has a keys then he can open the a keys packet but not the b key b keys packet should be handed over to the officer who is authorized to handle the b key it is done by the management it can be done by the manager or by the head office who are the people handling a class key who are the people handling b class key the names of the key handling officer should be written on the key handling register there is a register called key handling the key movement register in the first page of this register authorized officer's name for handling a class and b class separately should be written there at the time of approving or at the time of handing over the uh, keys to that such person it should be recorded in the register then audit people or any people in, uh, from head office who come to the office to investigate or inspect the happenings there they can know who are the people authorized to handle keys and do a control both people should have to enter to the safe room when open it nobody should be given the key unless he is authorized officer and unless recording in the key movement register if you are handling b class you never should give the key to a class handling officer at any time none of the key holding officer should take the other key for his lifetime if he transfer from here he was the, he was one of the uh, officers grade in the office he handled b class key if he came back here as the manager he should have to handle the b class not the a class 
usually manager handle the E class, but in this case, if the manager previously handled B class key in his lower grade, then he should bear the key B class, whatever he has handled before that. Therefore, jamming this A and B would never happen. If one person handles the both keys, definitely set of keys and the set of lockers should have to be placed. It costs about 50,000 rupees. Therefore, handling keys is a very important role in the bank, finance sector. You should not give key to any unauthorized person unless authorized him by the management. Real control is the most important thing. When you go to the safe, if the other key handling officer is busy in his job for a moment, then he, will, he may give the key to you. I will come later. You open the door. Don't go. Don't do it. It is not the practice to be done by a bank, by a, because these all are public money. If something happened, not only these two people, perhaps maybe the people handled previously this case, they will also have to answer if something happened. Therefore, dual control is a very, very important role in the bank as well as in the finance company. Dual control begins at the time of receiving the save to the bank. Right. In the day-to-day -day transaction, transaction when you take the item from a customer, at the time of transferring money to the customer, at the time of handing over money to the customer, the item come to our possession. If it is under our custody, we should not keep it in the drawer. We should not keep it anywhere. You shall put into the drop safe. Drop safe is a special type of safe, you can open it, thereafter you can open the lower cage of that, when you put the item on the top, it goes to the down, then you can open it until the other officer comes. You put the item to the drop safe, thereafter all the items you took on the day, put, on the, put into that uh, drop safe, at the end of the day, the other officer who is handling the other key, will come, you both jointly open this drop safe, afterward you enter the stock book at the time of storing item. That is the time of recording the book because the number of items given in the stock register is the amount of item exists in the safe, main safe, the mirror account of the stock of the item. When you are transferring items from the top shape to the main shape, it should be entered in the top book with the numbers, with the particular numbers, then signed by A class, B class officer, and they put the time also there and put it into the main shape. Do the time lock also, we will, or we will discuss uh, what is time lock later. Dual control is that so important thing in the, in the financial sector, two people handle. If a key holding officer is not well, if he can't come to the bank or the finance company, if he want to send the key, don't sit, send it in a open cover. Put it into a sealed cover and send him, send it by your, your closer one, maybe wife, husband, brother, something like that. You can send it, but not in the open cover. Put it in a sealed cover and send it to the manager. Manager will take it as sealed one and hand it over to the other other authorized officer to handle that. Unless it don't send it by hand openly. Even manager should not undertake it openly. Thereafter, manager should not open the key and hand it over to the other one, other person. By that way, you can keep the dual control concept. In the night, time locking, there is a time lock device in the safe. What is time lock? There's a, there are two clocks attached to the locking part of the lock, locking part of the uh, safe. There's a uh, clock. You can uh, rotate the time. You can put the time to open. You can put more than one hour to maximum five days or four days. 
if you turn the time to open date you will have to count how long we will have to wait until the safe open by time if you put in the evening of 5 o'clock if you want to open the door by 8:30 tomorrow then you count how many hours from now to the time of open from 5 to 8:30 8:30 of course you can exactly give 30 but 9 o'clock or otherwise it from 5 to 8 how long that is 15 hours 5 to 5 to 12 another 3 5 to 8 15 hours if it is so you will have to uh, rotate this there is a disc rotate this disc for 15 hours there is a lock uh, to lock it the again after adjusting you both a class officer and b class officer jointly do this one person can count hours the other person will adjust it then after adjusting lock it there after if you lock the door even by t you can't open it until the time comes you can't open it. you can't forcefully open it even though you have the key that is why the time lock is a third uh, security feature until the time comes it doesn't open it uh, you can't manually open you can't forcefully open in time comes it opens automatically thereafter only you can use the keys to open the door then time lock is a must the other one combination usually almost all safes are with time locks now combination there's a second uh, in other not second is the fourth system of locking that the control time lock and combination and these four situations uh, come into one they, they can't be open combination there's a special combination in the device there are not several numbers four numbers there if you put four numbers there you can lock it unless the numbers are again opening it you can't open the safe even the time lock open even the keys there combination combinations at the device then you have to put the combination at the end of the day until opening of the tomorrow and wherever the time it does not matter to the time is a combination combination unlock there after only you can open the safe this if the devices are with this facilities use all the facilities if you do not put the combination if something happen in the night you are liable if you not if you not put the time lock if something happen in the night or whatever the time you are liable therefore if all facilities are there you will have to definitely use these facilities to protect correct the assets of the bank secret numbers are there for combination secret numbers should not be given to anybody usually those days uh, the secret numbers should be deposited in a bank or in other place other than the same place but now it is not much practice anyhow secret numbers are for the for the person only it should not be given to others if it is or no combination uh, concept is operated have a combination numbers perhaps may be difficult to keep in, in mind therefore you can record it uh, in a very safe place unless you record it if it is forbidden you very difficult to open even the manufacturers will come they will have to uh, build the build the safe and uh, open it's a difficult situation if the combination you don't use it for a long time uh, you may change it as and when necessary if you use it three months thereafter you may change it it is given by the circular or the manual combination should be changed by time by time uh, it may be by person to person as well as if the same person use this combination we should change it quarterly or otherwise combination and time lock is that when uh, stacking items in the safe 
I told you, usually we can stack at least 60 items in the SH. The accepted way, the practicable way is to stack the item from left hand corner from the place from you to forward one, two, three, four, like that. 30. Thereafter, 31 is from the here, from the starting point. Some of the bank they do not in a even manner. It is not good because if somebody comes to audit this, it takes much time to find out where the items is. If you store bigger one, you can't put it in the normal place. If it is so, as I show you the packet of uh, that necklace, if it is done in that manner, you will have to keep it in a separate place. There's a box without having uh, middle, middle line there. It's an open box. In that open box, you can put that type of bigger one. If you put the bigger one there, you may write the dummy tag indicating the serial number and put it in the place where to be if it is a smaller one. Then auditing people or people who are taking item from the safe, they can see that tag, then they know this is not here, but it's in a separate place. It is easier for them to save the time. They stack it in that manner. After taking item for the redemption, at least once in a week, you may adjust the package, adjust the uh, trace. Articles might have been taken 14 or 15 articles from the safe. There should there can be 60. Then you take 15 articles from the other other tray and stack it 30. Likewise, you have to adjust at least by week. Otherwise, you will have to wait. If it is done by monthly, it takes much time. If it is done, you will have to keep open the safe for a so long time. If it is open for a longer time, it is facing danger because people might know uh, you are opening the, you are working it open the safe. It is not good for the, not for the, not, not good for the bank because there can be happen several things. Therefore, the time open the key, the safe should be shorter, very shorter, uh, less than 15 minutes better. Even taking items, you should not open the key, open the safe for a long time. If there are so many items, take not at once, take two, three times. Then reports. What are the reports that you need to take? Is mentioned in the uh, mentioned in this uh, manual. If it is so, you have to do everything at the end of the day. Don't wait until tomorrow to do it because everything now is in the system. If you didn't do it, the head of his people can uh, check whether you have not sent it. Then it's a problem to uh, maintain your statistics. There are several reports. There can be several reports. Uh, there are head of his people. They are diagnosing everything daily. Uh, that is why we need to prepare all the report at the end of the day. Unless you do it, you can't balance the uh, money as well as the packets, number of packets. At the end of the day, you may check with the report and the stock book and the safe contains same type, same number of articles. You can check the report as you have the system. Every day you must check number of articles in the packet as well as in the reports. These are the operating day-to-day uh, -day operating uh, important areas. The recoveries of course, which is a most important thing. Anyhow, for gold loss, for pawning, it is not a major thing as consider, as compared to other free tools. About 95% of the people, they come their own and redeem. Other only we will have to attend. Usually, recovery of loans can be done according to the central bank direction as well as from the from uh, the subordinates. Optioning is the last resort. You should not go for the auctioning first. 
do whatever is possible to read in the articles by the customer if you practice uh, thing your article to you we don't auction it it is the best customer service practice educate you to people read in the article it is better for you than auctioning it if items uh, retain after after the redemption of the customers there can be a certain number of items what to do next usually official requirement is to send the letter before 14 days of the auction that the legal requirement if it is a we are auctioning now this is not the way of the bank or finance company to do the best way is to remind the people some of the people they don't know where they, they get the item where they own the item when to redeem it. Usually they wait until the letter comes from you. Usually all the banks or the finance companies use uh, to send three or four letters, reminding letters. Those are reminding letters, not the legal requirement. Usually for owning items, the time taken to redeem is 12 months. Uh, about at the end of 11 month, we are sending a letter reminding reminder one in the letter we say that your article is liable to auction therefore please redeem the article or renew it you can renew the item also what is renewal renewal means the customer comes and pay the entire interest and do it as a new loan those days it is a compulsory to issue a Fresh ticket. Now, according to the system's uh, upgrade upgradings, now without issuing fresh ticket, you can in, you can renew the ticket. If it is so, the condition should be there to renew the uh, item in the same ticket number. It is the policy of the bank or the finance company to do it. If it is so, no need of issuing a ticket. Otherwise, you usually will have to issue the ticket. When a customer comes, if we pay entire uh, approved interest, then we can enhance it to another period of time. If it is one year, another one year we can enhance it to hidden. If we are giving us another fresh ticket, the customer has, will have to pay the entire interest. If the customer is not able to pay the interest, then there is no option to renew it anyhow. Uh, he can stay until the auction comes. Usually, in encourage the customer if there is uh, another amount of advance available there. If he has taken for a uh, item, where yeah, we can you loan hundred thousand. If he has taken seventy five thousand, we can ask him to enhance the amount. By that amount, you can pay part, pay the interest, and he can take back another part of advance. Likewise, you can advise them, then they can renew it, they can keep it for another period, that is renewal. Anyhow, encourage the people to renew if they can't redeem it. Then we are sending the first letter. Thereafter, when the period lapses, expires. After the expiring, uh, within a period of two weeks or more, we are sending another letter that your item fallen into auction, you have not redeemed the item within the period, therefore please come and renew or otherwise redeem. We are sending a second reminder. After sending the reminder, usually people come and do whatever they can. If any other item remains uh, without redeeming or without renewing, then we are sending third letter after organizing a auction. Usually after about two months if there are items unredeemed for more than two months after the expiry date the best way to conduct an auction otherwise it may be difficult to recover the interest therefore arrange an auction after two months of the expiry date if there are a number of several number of articles uh, not quite enough for an auction then arrange for auction when arranging for auction the legal requirement is to advertise in a paper, newspaper. Newspaper twice we should advertise. Then if you want to arrange an auction, then decide it before about one month. 
then afterward you can they have to get the approval from the head office or head office is do whatever necessary then prepare a list of article items list of articles exceeding two months from a such a date then that is the list prepared for a option after prepare that option with a list do whatever possible to read in the article you have sent already the letters or if you have sent the letters then try to contact them over the phone usually most of the companies now they have established call center in the call center they have deployed two three people according to the number of number of items fallen uh, into auction if there are two three people as done in the very card centers they are giving the management gives several numbers uh, several uh, customers numbers to that for people they are calling the customers they are calling the customers in the soft voice don't do it as a ordinary recovery officer remind always your valuable item is very worth for us therefore you may redeem this like that in a soft manner you should call to the customer afterward get the result from them what they do if they promise you to redeem it within a month then you may record it such in the in, in front of the ticket number customer agree to redeem within one month put the date one month that is 11th of october if it is so at at the expiry of that date if the item is not redeemed again you can call the customer likewise we do whatever is possible because we want not to auction the item we want to redeem the item by the customer if it is done by the customer article available with him then in a later time he will take the item to us we have another business if the item is auction what will happen to that item it is it will be mailed and ultimately it can be in india mostly people who get and mailed it unofficially export to some other country to get big money therefore if the item is not that area then it won't come again to you never come to you if you send it back to the customer if he has that item he will come again therefore recovery is a very very important thing not to recover only but to keep the customer with you uh, then we are sending that letter we are calling the customer after doing everything there is a small part of the item all in it when it comes prepare a final list there can be two three several list uh, by cutting off the names within once they are after at the very beginning or the about 500 items may be in the list at the end of that uh, two, one month there can be only 100 150 items so the customer will come and do it so otherwise some of the people they will sell the items to other dealers of owner they can be, make money out of it now the price is very high therefore there are several people i think you might have seen some, there are some uh, billboards in light uh, there are some streets uh, we are redeeming items we are purchasing we purchasing item auction items like that there are therefore uh, there are there's a very big business big uh, market for that expired items right then we do it finally auction at the auction we can sell everything If we get enough money after recovering all if there's a due there's an excess we we'll have to pay to the owner you can't keep it some of the finance company they keep it there and i don't know how they put it into their balance sheet and the financial account it is not local it is very uh, unfair thing uh, it is not the company's asset but even it should be paid to the owner the law given there within one year uh, he can come to the bank or the finance company and ask how much my item was sold how much you realize he just uh, right to the customer he can ask him. therefore we should keep the sale book at least for one and at such time the owner has the right to come 
and get his money, excess money. If there is no money, of course, okay, but the thing is, customer has the right to ask how much you realize that my item. If you sold it to a lesser amount, customer will complain it to Ombudsman, no, you are head of the resource center bank. Therefore, be careful if there is excess, the company or the bank can recover only the dues, not the excess. Excess should be kept for the customer. After auctioning, there can be some item found in the stock as fake article. What to do for fake article? If the item found at an earlier instance, then manual says what to do. If you found any fake article in the stock, the manual says how to do, how to recover money. Usually, you can recover that dues from the insurance company. Some of the insurance companies, they undertake 100%. Some of the companies, they do only 90% or 80% like price. If it is so, head office will introduce you to report them to the head office or to the insurance company they might introduce you some forms. You will have to fill these forms and send it to the uh, name, position, name, person. Thereafter, uh, follow up until recovered. If the item is recovered with the loss, then you will have to inform it to the office. It can be a write off to the profit and loss account. You will have to bear the loss. If there is a deficit, in even on the option, you can't recover it from the customers, but you will have to write off from your personal loss account. Uh, if there are items that you can't get in, uh, insurance also, I don't know whether such a thing now happen, those days it has happened. If such items are, uh, items are there, keep it with the head of it, send it to head of it, keep it for training purposes. You can use as samples in training, for, uh, training sessions to exhibit them for our people to, uh, to educate this type of things and take an earlier now it should not do that it should not do in the future like that you can finalize whatever views are there you can't remain you can't keep it in the balance sheet or the planning uh, report for a long time if the items are there uh, which have been taken by the police those items are not in the safe Advance amount is in the uh, sale, the, the sale book, the stock book, the, the sorry, the morning ledger. Such item also can be covered from the insurance. If the insurance policies allow it, then inform the head of it to recover from the insurance. Uh, some banks or some finance companies, under their insurance cover, the insurance people ask for a policy report. Usually, it is not, not a requirement. If the insurance people request such a report, why should you go for such insurance company? You can change insurance company. Because you should not bother about it because the insurance, uh, in insurance is a very good product for insurance people. We don't claim even half. Other, all of their profit. Therefore, they reduce the premium also if you are not recover, not claim insurance according to the premium you pay. Therefore, a gold business or the pouring business is a very useful business. We don't lose any single cent. In the recovery part, we do uh, whatever possible to redeem by the part. person, owner, thereafter we put them into auction. When the auction comes, it depends on company to company. The way they are auctioning is now not according to the law, but they are doing. If, certain, if something happens, if something complains to the higher authorities, such companies are in little trouble. Therefore, if something happens, try to sort out with the customer, not to send it to the, law, uh, to the court or the police. Something happened. Better to call the customer, do whatever possible, pay if you have to pay something. If it is a loss to the company, they are better to do, better not to go to the 
police or the court. I have prepared several notes on options. Uh, it is necessary for the people who are in the head office or in the level of optioning. Uh, there are several things. Uh, it is not important to explain everything here. In doing the auction, the best thing, I suppose, check the item at least one day before the auction. There can be several things happen, uh, not according to the item. Perhaps we may have overvalued the item. If it is so, in the list, in the list we are giving to the customer the catalog, uh, if you put it as high value one, you may not be able to recover it. Therefore, check the all the item at least one day before the auction. Check whether the weight recorded is correct. Check whether the current rate given is closer to the correct one. If such if something been wrong, prepare it according to the actual ones. Therefore, we can realize the actual amount from the auction, the required amount from the auction without any difficulty. Okay. These are the things that I can discuss with you, the most important things. Uh, I don't know whether I show you yesterday uh, a video about the how to manufacture, how to uh, manufacture gold chain in local made. I put this now. We can the five ten minutes. With the way of manufacturing jewelry locally, I uh, I skip. I mean, with the making of mixture, you get alloys and gold. If it is difficult, nine point one six gram of gold, then eight two grams of alloy. That is ten gram. If the ten gram alloy, you are making. In our ordinary type of burning. The burning is charcoal. Inside this is crucible, graphite crucible. The handle here, this is the handle, that, that is the one we are pouring this liquid gold for that dual into the He make a piece. Yes, 
पे कर कर करने की These are the tools used in the workshop. Okay, thank you very much. These are things that I can talk with you. Uh, if you have anything uh, to say us, please send by your email, not email really, by SMS. If you can take note down my telephone numbers, note double seven three two nine five four five two mobile number note uh, 717-400-628. Thank you very much. That's all we can discuss in this program. <laughs>